welcome back it's Nixie K here or welcome if you are new before I get started explaining the build that I'm doing today I want to just say sorry for the random camera movement as my initial shape was quite weird today I am doing another collab I am working with the wonderful cake invader sims you may know them as Jasper we decided to get together and put together a cafe slash apartment build. So the apartment would be on top of the cafe. Sadly, this doesn't work when you play The Sims. I'm still hoping that one day we can make that happen. You're gonna have to either play it as either a cafe or an apartment, but it's cute. You know, we, we put a lot of effort into it and Jasper did the bottom part of the build and then I was given the top, which was quite a challenge. I didn't know what I was in for. So like since the shape was so weird, I wanted to make it like a lofty apartment. I didn't really know what else to do with the roof. The roof was really impossible to work with. So I did like the glass roof on top of the living room half of the build and that kind of is where I drew a lot of my inspiration for the rest of the build. I wanted it to be very lofty, I wanted it to be artsy because like who else would live above a cafe with like a all glass window on top like that's just such a iconic artsy apartment i i had to go with it so there ends up being a little art corner that you'll see later on i had never built an apartment before i usually do houses as you see i've never actually tried doing apartments i'm curious if you can build like an apartment complex where you have different apartments that are assigned to different sims i don't know if that's possible please comment below i haven't really like tried working with that yet and maybe i would like to create like different stories for each little apartment that is in an entire complex i mean obviously you can't do it too big if you remember from my video a while a couple videos back i mentioned that i was working with only base game items in this video and I mentioned that when I went to go work on something else, I just went absolutely crazy with using all of my items. Well, welcome. This is the video. This is the build. <laughs> As you see, I'm kind of getting into designing the living room and I really wanted to focus on the clutter and I wanted to focus on the decoration of this apartment because I only was able to fit in one bedroom and one bathroom. So with that being a downside to this build, I really, really wanted the loft to be just like such an iconic space for someone to hang out in. And if you're an artist living in a place that has that high of walls and that like clean of a slate, wouldn't you want to do your graffiti on the walls? I just, you know, I decided that that was the best route that I could go down. But I was really, really happy with how this build turned out because I just wanted to use all the really funky furniture. The cabinets I used in the kitchen are something I've never really touched. They're the cabinets that are kind of ugly. They're typically ugly. I don't like using them. But when I put the oven, I was just, I wanted it to be full of color. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm hooked. I, seen other people put bright colored cabinets in, a, in their build and it just looks like so much fun so I really wanted to bring in that type of vibe and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I mean I'm actually very happy. I'm not pretty happy. I'm very happy. I have to give a huge props to Eco Lifestyle and City Living. Those two packs provide the best items if you want this type of vibe for your sims or apartment. Every single thing I used was pretty much from those two packs, maybe a few here and there from others, but yeah, that was a big one. Even like, even the wallpaper and the brick and everything. And that's another thing that I love doing. I don't know if you guys have noticed yet because I have done it in a couple of my builds now, but I really, really love brick accent walls. I love them in like real houses. I want one in my house eventually. I think they're just like, such a cute aspect and like such a cool way of just having something like different on your walls i don't know it's just like so cool it's a design feature that i like don't judge me so i was dabbling a little bit in trying to put in two bedrooms in this build but it was just so impossible with the shape because it was going to turn out where you had to like walk through the bedrooms to get to the bathroom 
And I know it's like just The Sims, but I was like, that's not realistic. People don't like need to walk into a bedroom to go to the bathroom. That's just weird. For The Sims guest purposes, we only went with one bedroom, but it's a big ass bedroom. And I made it like the ultimate hangout spot. Like I wish this was my bedroom. It is like, obviously there's a girl living here cause I put in like a makeup counter and like a little vanity set that I kind of created on my own. Then I put a little like couch sitting area, which I don't think I have actually put down yet. I'm getting really ahead of myself, but it was like really cute and I like doing it a lot. You'll see that. But as we get closer to that part of the build that I want to talk about, I'll talk a little bit about like the relationship that I've built with Jasper. We have become just such great friends and they're just such a wholesome, positive person. I recommend looking at their content. We also had this idea of doing a thing where they gave my sim self a makeover and then I give them a makeover, their sim self a makeover because if you know them and if you want to go check out their channel we are quite quite different people in our styles i am very girly and they are just cool as hell so yeah i would like really really love to see what they could do with my sim self and <laughs> i feel like i would probably butcher their sim self but we're getting into the the part of the bedroom that i really want to talk about because I'm putting all like the clutter on the walls. The clutter is like where you really build the personality of the sim that's gonna be living there. So it's obviously like a, a young artist and then, you know, skater vibes. And okay, so as I was putting down like the skateboards and then like the tree or whatever that looked all hippie, I just knew, I knew right that second that I needed to add the bubbler. Like, that would just pull the whole personality of the, the sim together who needs to live in this building. Because, you know, stoner artists, come on. Like, it may not be legal everywhere just yet, but it's, it's a personality and it exists. And we need more of it, honestly. I'm getting a little sad that our, our music isn't as druggy as it used to be back in the 80s. But that's why I listen to that music instead of now music anyways. I did finally discover that I have closets now. I think that is so, so cool. I actually knew that like they had closets in The Sims, but I never knew which pack it came with. Apparently it's get together that it comes with. I really, really want to play with this build because I know that you can do some like fun, weird stuff in the closet. Like the children can play in the closet and stuff and it's really cute. So I really want to see that. I will just have to save that for another day because I didn't actually play in this yet, just yet. Maybe I will now, after I record this voiceover. So, to make the cafe possible, I got Get Together, and that pack is so freaking cool. I really, really love it, and it was like a lot of fun to play with, and the fact that you can like go to coffee shops and drink coffee, like that's my life. I'm drinking coffee literally right this second, and I'm pretty much always drinking coffee every time I record, so you can just expect that from now on. But we are nearing the end of the cafe collab with Cake Invader Sims, so please don't forget to go check out their channel. I really, really love them. They are also on Twitch, and that is mainly where they produce content, but they're just recently getting onto YouTube. So give both those channels a look if you'd like, and... Before we head over into the slideshow, I just now updated my schedule. I will be posting videos every Wednesday and Sunday from now on. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you like my content. Have a lovely, lovely day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!